All right, now that we have making a base mesh down pat, moving it onto subtools if needed, moving and manipulating those subtools, we're going to have to have a couple more things under our tool belt now. And that is the ability to add texture, color, and material to the object. Okay? So, along with that comes layers. So we're going to be looking at layers in this lesson. Layers are located here. And we're going to be looking at sculpt. So if you grab your standard brush with a drag rectangle, and you might be even able to grab some of those brushes that you made in one of the previous lessons. In this case, I have this weird alpha. And here I'm going to turn up the radio fall off. Okay. Now the advantage of using layers is this, you know, if I just click and drag here and put this on there, let's up the geometry a little bit so it's got a little bit cleaner look to it. So if I go like this, it adds the texture to the object. Okay. Now the problem with that is the only way to get rid of it is undo. So up at the top, here's layers. And I'm going to just add a new layer. And I'm just going to kind of uniformly place this texture on the mesh. All over it. One thing I don't like is the symmetrical look so much, so I'm going to just take my time and go around this and unsymmetrically place the texture. go. It is now covered with slag. And there's a couple spots it could use. When you do place your texture uniformly, just make sure, you know, those, those radio fall off points, they left a blur there. So, you know, kind of kind of go through here and fill in that blur spot between two points of uh, intersection. But you get the idea. Now, over here on the layers, I can take and stop recording that. And I now have that onto my object. Now if I want to make a new layer, it starts recording. Now it would probably be in your best interest to rename these things. So take for example, I click here, I name this, I'll name it slag. It has a slider to it. So if I went and made that a little bit greater, you can see that adds more contrast to it. Or I can inverse it where now it's contrasting in the other Z. So it'll Z subtract it back, we call that. Okay, and one is default just as you had it laid on there. Also you can click the little eye and it'll turn it on and off. What's nice about this is sculpting becomes a lot more uniformed when you use layers. Take this for example. Let me turn this off. Let me just add, you know, just a like a nice 
deformation to it. Now you have to hit record anytime that you use a layer. So the record point is right there. So it's the second dot in. So now I can go in here and maybe take RGB off. and go like that. Now you're going to find that it's very uniform going across the new sculpt because it's using the first sculpt and just placing that stuff right onto the second sculpt. This is a very nice feature because now you can use, let's say you were doing a dragon with dragon scales. Well you can do all the dragon scales on a layer and then add muscle deformation and everything to another layer and you'll find that the dragon scales evenly spread themselves across the new sculpt. Okay. So now I have that as a layer and I can stop the recording and then etc and so forth. Stop it and it's got a little slider that you can go back and forth. So nothing too spectacular about having two layers but we can use layers in a great deal of ways so we're going to be covering that here in the next video